I'm Luis, soil technologist at Chagas Johnston Castle, and today we are going to be playing in the soil kitchen lab, a place for hands-on sleeves of soil experiments. As the name says, today we are going to get dirty to test some of the most fundamental soil facts. But first of all, what is a soil? Soil is the combination of minerals, organic matter and life that we have beneath our feet. It's under the grass, it's under the paving stones, and it's so important because it underpins vital functions for humans and the environment. It provides the nutrients for plants to grow, it purifies the water we drink, recycles the organic waste animals generate, it can store CO2 from the atmosphere to tackle climate change, and it's the place on Earth with higher biodiversity. Believe it or not, in a handful of healthy soil like this, we can find more than 10,000 different species, 100 billion of bacteria, and up to 50 kilometers of soil fungi. We can easily do a couple of funny, muddy experiments in our soil kitchen lab. First of all, go and grab a little garden spade and fill a small bucket of the soil you want to play with. It can be from your backyard little garden or from a field from the surroundings. It can be topsoil or subsoil. Just look how soil change with depth and pay attention to the wonderful diversity of soil textures and colors you may find around. The more different soils, the better. Look, all these different colors come from different areas of Ireland. Put the soil you collect in a container and remove as many stones, roots and worms you can see. Then add 10 spoons of soil into another bowl. Start adding water and mix it and squash it all the way until you get an homogeneous soil mass you can cook. Something like this. Then squash the wet soil mass into the reused yogurt containers, pressing with your fingers to fill them up to the top until you have a nice, compact, mineral soil cake. Now fill a bowl with a few spades of gardening compost. Then, repeat the very same recipe, but this time adding another extra 10 spoons of compost. Again, mix it thoroughly with water until you get an homogeneous soil mass, not too dry, not too wet. And then, fill the yogurt containers, squashing the soil compost mix. This will be the pit soil cakes. Leave all the cakes in the sun to cook for several days, protecting them from rain, until they are completely dry. If the yogurt containers are transparent, this will speed up soil drying. Once your soy cakes are cooked, it's time for experiments. First, which of these two soy cakes will be able to suck up and retain more water? For testing it, fill two glasses with exactly 50 ml of water. The quantity needs to be the same. Then, place two different soy cakes inside, like this. Leave it for 10 minutes and check how cakes are absorbing water. Can you spot the difference of adding compost to the soil cakes? This soil function is important during dry summers, as plants need soil to store as much water as possible for them not to die. And it's also important during rainy winters, to tackle flash flooding of rainwater running off the slopes into our towns. Second, which of these two soil cakes is harder to chew? For testing it, just take your soil cakes out of their yogurt containers and try to squeeze them with your hand. Can you break them? Did you notice any difference in hardiness or weight? For plants, it's the same. Roots can have very hard times to break through the soil if soils are compacted and low in organic matter. 